In this video, we're gonna be talking about aquarium lids, why I think you should run them, a couple of pros and cons, and options for putting a lid on your aquarium. What's up guys, I'm Will, and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. On this channel, I focus on low-tech planted aquariums and how-to videos about how to propagate your own aquarium plants. I actually sell the plants that I grow on my website, so if you're interested, I'll have a link in the description. Let's go ahead and jump into the content. So guys, if you walk around my fish room, you're gonna notice a theme here. There's a lid on both of these tanks. There's lids on all of my propagation tubs, and there's a lot of them. And then I've got a lid on this propagation tank over here as well. Come over here, I also have a lid on this container. I don't have one on this one. But then if we come over here, I've got a lid on this container, which is uh, staged and ready to be planted with a new setup. The point is, there's a common theme here. I run lids on pretty much every type of container that I have, whether it's a planted aquarium or a propagation setup like I have on my grow rack over here. And guys, this leads me over to why I recommend running lids on your planted aquariums. And that's also a perfect segue into the pros about running lids on your aquariums as well. So there's three main reasons why I recommend that everyone runs lids on their tanks. And let's go ahead and jump into that. Reason number one. And if you can imagine, you know, I have 20 containers over here. I've got a couple of fish tanks over here. I got some other containers as well. And if all of those were, you know, open to the air in this room, this room would literally be like a tropical rainforest. It would be so humid that I would likely have mold. You know, it would be bad news. You don't want that. So if you guys have, you know, more than a single aquarium or a couple, then you're gonna need to have lids just simply to limit the amount of evaporation into the room that you have. And uh, this, this may not seem like a big deal. You know, if you have one or two tanks, you probably don't have to worry about it. But if you have several tanks or you have your own grow setup, you really do need to have lids on your setups for a number of reasons. And one of those is just due to humidity reduction in the room. And definitely an easy way to reduce humidity is just to put a lid on all of your setups. And guys, the second reason goes hand in hand with the first. If you don't have a lid on your aquarium, you're going to lose water due to evaporation from your tank. What's this gonna do? Well, this is gonna do two things. One, it's going to increase concentrations of nutrients in your water because as water evaporates out of your planted aquarium, what's gonna happen is all of those nutrients that you have in there are gonna be left behind and they're gonna become more and more concentrated. It's also gonna reduce in um, the need for more water changes and water top-offs. So I like to run lids on all of my tanks because it limits the need for water changes. It also maintains a more stable water parameter for your fish. And guys, number three is pretty straightforward, but I like to run sponge filters in my setups and they're just simple and easy to run, but they do generate some noise. And by adding a lid on your aquarium, you can dampen the amount of noise significantly that would otherwise be entering your room. And I'll go ahead and show you some clips here just to highlight those, the differences of having a lid on or off your aquarium with respect to noise. So guys, with the duckweed grow here, I currently have my microphone over by my mouth. And what I'm gonna do is move it over towards um, the lid here so you can get a perception of how loud the sponge filter is with this tank. So here's the microphone here and now I'm holding it right over the tank and let's see what that sounds like. All right guys, now I have the microphone back by my mouth and I'm gonna go ahead and move it over towards the tank and we'll get a comparison of before and after with and without the lid. So guys, that may not seem like a big deal, but if you're running a number of tanks, whether it's two or 10 or who knows, 20, um, this can result in a significant amount of noise increase cumulatively throughout your fish room. All right, guys, now let's talk about the cons about aquarium lids and what that means for your fish room. So if we draw your attention over to this tank here, you're gonna notice that we definitely have some scum that's developed on this lid. 
and some hard water. And what that does is it's gonna inhibit the amount of light that can transfer through your lid and into your planted aquarium. And obviously you wanna get as much light into your aquarium as you can, or at least you don't wanna inhibit the amount of light. So you wanna have complete control over the light that's entering your setup. This is not a huge deal though. It's pretty easy to maintain these lids. Uh, all you gotta do is give them a scrub with a, a sponge and that will clean up no problem. This tank is definitely due for a lid cleaning, but like I said, it's pretty easy to clean that up. If we draw your attention down here, this lid on the other hand is in pretty good shape. It doesn't really need a cleaning at the moment. And as you can tell, the, the duckweed in here is definitely illuminated. And in my experience, a clean lid really doesn't do that much to affecting plant growth. And a second con is that lids can be kind of expensive. Um, I really like the Aquion brand of lids and I'll have a link in the description to Amazon if you guys wanna check that out. That is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you're interested in picking up a lid like this, you can do so through that link and I'll get a small commission if you shop through that link. Um, I do recommend them, but they are kind of pricey. But that's not to say that there aren't cheaper options. In fact, you can actually just get polycarbonate panels that would be used for greenhouses and you can cut your own lids. All you gotta do is take some measurements from your length and your width and then get the appropriate size sheet of polycarbonate paneling and then cut it to, to shape. Um, one sheet is gonna be pretty cheap and you can actually do a number of tanks for a fraction of the cost of one of these glass lids. Although I do recommend these if you can afford it. And finally guys, the last reason why you might not wanna run a lid in your aquarium is simply just due to the aesthetics. And if you look in this tank here, I mean, that's definitely kind of detracting from the look of this overall tank. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna look at this angle here. You can see the lid currently. And then what I'm gonna do is take that off and we'll see a before and after look. And you can really see a difference, you know? I don't mind lids, but other people certainly do. So let's go ahead and take the lid off and take a look now. Okay, so here is this tank without a lid. And now you have a, an entirely different experience viewing the tank from the top. I certainly can appreciate the look of all the Anubias in here and the fish. Um, but you know, that can be definitely mitigated to a certain extent just simply by cleaning a lid and keeping it clean. Um, but obviously that, that also does entail some work. Guys, at the end of the day, having a lid on your aquarium or not really does boil down to personal preference. I personally like to run lids on pretty much all of my tanks, maybe with the exception of that Anubias tank, just because I like to look from the top into that tank. Um, but you know, with the amount of containers that I have in my fish room and plant farm, I really do need to at least run lids on pretty much all of my tanks to cut back on humidity and sound. So those are some things to keep in mind. Um, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I'll have a link in the description to the lid that I featured here, which is the Aquion lid. And I'll also have a link to some greenhouse panels just if you wanna check that out as well. And then, like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, I do sell the plants that I grow and I have lots of them. Um, I sell them on my website, link in the description as well if you wanna check that out. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.